Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this is Pramod and this is again Core 2 practice test series and this part is also very helpful to pass the Core 2 exam. So let's go to the questions and this is the question number one. An administrator's change was approved by the change management review board. So which of the following should the administrator do next? Option A is a perform risk analysis. Option B is assign a change coordinator. Option C is implement the change. Option D is a verify testing results. And the correct answer for this question is option C implement the change. And the explanation is once a change has been approved by the change management review board, the next step is to implement the change. This involves carrying out the approved change in the system or environment according to the change plan. Perform risk analysis. This should be done before the change is approved to access potential impacts. Assign a change coordinator. This role should be designated earlier in the process to oversee the change implementation. Verify testing results. This should have been done before seeking approvals from the review board. And the reference for this answer is Comsha A plus 2021102 exam objectives section 4.2 explain basic change management best practices change management process documentations that's why the correct answer is c implement the change so let's move to the next question and the next question is a user is unable to log into a workstation the user reports an error message about a date being incorrect a technician reviews the date and verifies it is correct but the system clock is an hour behind. The technician also determines this workstation is the only one affected. So which of the following is the most likely issue? Option A is a time drift. Option B is a NTP failure. Option C is a Windows update. Option D is a CMOS battery. And the correct answer for this question is option A, time drift. So let's check the explanations. The time drift refers to the gradual deviation of a clock's time from the correct time. Since only one workstation is affected and the technician confirmed the date is correct but the time is off, it points to a localized clock issue on that machine which aligns with the definition of the time drift. That's why the correct answer is A, time drift. So let's move to the next question. And the next question is a technician needs to configure a backup solution that will have the least additional expenses and impact on users. So which of the following steps should a technician complete? Choose two options of the below. So first option is A. Configure the backup to run when the user logs in. Option B is a configure the backup to run after peak hours. Option C is a use third party license backup software. Option D is a use the built-in OS backup utility. Option E is a configure the backup job to run every hour. Option F is use an external storage device for the backup. And the correct answer for this question is B and D. B is a configure the backup to run after peak hours and D is use the built-in OS backup utility. So let's check the explanation. The technician should configure the backup to run after peak hours and use the built-in OS backup utility to minimize additional expenses and impact on users. And explanation is after peak hours, running a backups during non-peak users times minimizes disruption to users work productivity. And built-in OS backup utility using the operating system's built-in backup tool is generally included in the software cost making it a cost effective option. So let's move to the next question. And the next question is a change management review board denied an administrator request for change. The administrator had provided the purpose and scope of the change, the date and time and impacted systems with the risk analysis. So which of the following should be included to approve this change? Option A is end user acceptance. Option B is a cost analysis. Option C is a rollback plan. Option D is a standard maintenance window. And the correct answer is C, rollback plan. So let's check the explanation. A rollback plan is a crucial part of any change management process, especially when a change management review board denies an initial request. If the change is implemented and cause issues, the rollback plan outlines the steps to revert back 
to the previous still state. The change management review board would likely require a detailed rollback plan to be included in the request before approving the change, ensuring that there is a contingency in case of unforeseen problems. That's why the correct answer is C, rollback plan. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, a technician is preparing a training room and a workstation must all have the same operating system, applications and settings. So which of the following method is the best way to accomplish this request? Option A is a recovery partition. Option B is a clean install. Option C is an image deployment. Option D is an in-place upgrade. And the correct answer is C, image deployment. And the explanation is, the image deployment, this method involves creating a single standardized image of the desired operating system, applications and settings. And then deploying this image to all workstations, this provides a quick and efficient way to configure multiple machines identically. That's why the correct answer is C, image deployment. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, which of the following environmental controls is most important to maintain the safety of data center? Option A is a temperature control. Option B is a humidity control. Option C is a fire separation control. Option D is a power management control. And the correct answer is C, fire separation control. So let's check the explanations. So the why temperature, humidity and power management are all important of data center operations. A fire can cause catastrophic damage to equipment and data, potentially impacting business continuity. Therefore, having a reliable fire separation system in place is crucial for safeguarding the data center and its access. That's why the correct answer is C, fire separation control. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, an employee utilizes a personal smartphone to work remotely. The employee is unable to reach the portal using the company provided VPN service. So which of the following describes the cause of the issue? Option A is the application must be purchased by the company. Option B, the smartphone is not on the latest OS version. Option C, the smartphone is not enrolled in MDM service. Option D is the application fails to install and launch. And the correct answer is C, the smartphone is not enrolled in MDM service. So let's check the explanation. So MDM allows a company to manage and control security settings on the employee devices, including ensuring proper VPN configuration and compliance with security policies. If the phone is not enrolled, the VPN may not be able to connect to the company network. That's why the correct answer is C, the smartphone is not enrolled in MDM service. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, a technician receives a help desk request from a user who reports a software issue. After following the established troubleshooting steps, the technician determines the issue is related to the user's outdated software version. So which of the following should the technician do next? Option A is escalate the issue to the next level of support. Option B is update the ticket with actions taken and proposed solutions. Option C is advise the user to purchase the latest software version. Option D is update the knowledge base. And the correct answer is B, update the ticket with actions taken and proposed solutions. So let's check the explanations. So updating the ticket with actions taken and proposed solutions is essential for proper documentation. This allows other technicians to understand the issue, the steps already taken and the suggested solution. It also provides a record of the technician's work for future reference. That's why the correct answer is B, update the ticket with action taken and proposed solutions. So let's move to the next question. And the next question is, a technician is investigating a workstation that has not received the latest policy changes. So which of the following commands should the technician use to apply the latest domain policy changes? Option A is SFC slash scan now. Option B is a GPU update slash force. Option C is a CHK DSK slash Y. Option D is a X copy slash P. And the correct answer is B, GP update. So let's check the explanation. 
gp update slash force this command forcefully updates the group policy on the local computer ensuring that the latest policy settings are immediately applied even if they have not been automatically refreshed so let's move to the next question and the next question is a user accidentally installed the incorrect world processing application on an imac so which of the following would allow the user to uninstall the incorrect application option a is a move the application to the desktop and phrase delete option b is a identify the application in finder and drag it to the trash can option c is use spotlight to search for the application and then run the application option d use time machine to go back to the date before the installation and the correct answer is b identify the application in finder and drag it to the trash can so let's check the explanations so option b is a correct on mac os uninstalling an application is as simple as dragging into the trash can from finder this removes the application and it associate files from the system that's why the correct answer is b identify the application in finder and drag it to the trash can so i hope you are enjoying this video and this part has been completed so study hard good luck and thanks for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe the channel to see more video like this i will upload next part shortly thank you